Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's special session where you will learn about tests and um, how you're using online testing. Uh, my name is Nelly Deutsch. If you could add in the chat box where you're from and anything else you'd like to add and we'll get started. Okay, people are going to be coming in as we go. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting all these weird messages. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, you can't hear me. Wait a minute. All right, my... Uh, <laughs> no wonder I'm getting it. All right, so wait a second. You should be able to hear me in two seconds. Can you hear me now? Not yet. But you will, you will, you will in a second. Um, ah, uh, let's see. No, not yet. Wait a minute. One more second. Right, so uh, you'll hear me in a minute. Hope. Wait a minute. No sound, but wait. Wait. See if you can read my lips. <laughs> All right. So wait a minute. Let me just make sure that uh, it keeps going down. All right. Now you should be able to. All right, so uh, as I said, welcome. My name is Nellie, and I'm looking forward to this uh, session because it's really, really something that uh, I think about uh, probably on a daily basis. And I think I've been thinking about this since kindergarten. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But since um, since I was a kid in school, because I think it's really important. Uh, so we're going to get started. Hello, Tanya, Tatan, Tatiana, and um, Tom and Nevis and Hassan, and people are going to be coming in and out of the classroom, which is just fine. Yeah, no, it's weird about the sound. I think it has to do with Apple. Yeah, the Macs are problematic for uh, some uh, programs, but I'm sure it's going to be okay. If you could add in the chat box um, how you feel about tests. Uh, a few words if you want there. Test. Uh, how do you feel about being tested, going to the doctor, any kind of testing? Stop the video there. Uh, maybe that'll help you guys with the sound. Okay. Hi, Kirsten. Good to see you. So, um, how do you feel about about tests? I just did a test on Wiz IQ to try to get my sound back. You hate them. Thank you, Tom. I think we've discussed this before. So, I think I kind of knew that you hate them. What do you hate? Do you hate them as a teacher or do you hate taking them as a non-teacher? Okay, Asan said when I'm ready, both. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, you know, it's amazing, but, you know, if we ever, I'm sure if we did a survey of all the teachers in the world, I think that many teachers do not like tests. So, uh, why are we using them if we don't? Okay, why do we give tests? Okay, so we're going to discuss testing. I want you to get in the mood of testing as we go through uh, Wiz IQ. Before we get into testing, I want to point out for those of you that don't know that Wiz IQ is more than you think. All right, so we're going to go through some of the things on Wiz IQ. First of all, Wiz IQ is socially engaging. And we're going to be touching on these points as we talk about testing and what happens on WizIQ. As a learner, I don't see after finishing the test. Oh, very good point, Kirsten. I feel discouraged. Yes, as a teacher, I see students learn at least. Yeah, very good points there. We'll get to that. Excellent points, uh, Kirsten. So you're going. we're going to focus on socially engaging. We're going to focus on instruction and learning and the role of tests. 
we're going to discuss community building on WizIQ and testing, what happens, and social networking with our tests. In other words, tests can engage us together. We don't have to do tests alone. Uh, we can teach and get information, as you indicated, about our students. And it's a way to focus on learning. And it also builds communities. Yes, if we do it online. Remember, we're talking about online. And online is very different from the paper and pen that we do in school. Because the paper and pen that we do in school is very limiting. You have your pen or pencil, you write down the answers, and that's it. So it's very limiting. So we're talking about online tests and how they can be socially engaging, provide instructors with information and the learners with information. They can build communities. And finally, they can allow us to network through social channels like Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. Online, you're under <laughs> That's cute, Tom. Uh, well, we are in life, you know, but it's a different kind of testing. It's very, very different. Okay? A little bit about what you can get on WizIQ, and this is your profile. WizIQ allows you to share a link of your profile and start connecting with others around the world. And this is very important when it comes to testing not only your specific students, but sharing the test with others around the globe. So if you have an account on WizIQ as a teacher, it'll be a lot easier to connect. So getting back to the first session on understanding the system on WizIQ, how many of you have upgraded your account to 100%. Thumbs up if you have. I see Nevis has. <laughs> she knew what I was going to ask. Okay, Tom has, Kirsten has. Excellent. Now, remember the link. We talked about the browser and links and the fact that WizIQ has links. Sometimes they're very long, unlike uh, Moodle. They're too long, but they still work. Okay, so use the links. Oh, no, you're only 90%. So see how you can make it 100%. Remember, you don't have to add your phone number. Just write one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know how many numbers. One, okay, 10 digits for your phone number if that's going to make it 100. Okay, so no need to put your phone number. It's too personal. And I want you to tell me what this is. And we're going to get back to uh, this particular slide where we talked about socially engaging, instruction and learning, community building, and social network. Okay, so keep that in mind. Socially engaging, instruction and learning, community building, and social networking. Okay, so when you look at this, what do you have on this page? Okay, number one is what? That's a crazy number, I know. Social networking. What else could it be? Notice it says followers. Okay, so social networking. It could be community building. Okay, because if you have followers, that means you're a leader. Okay, Wix, thank you. Okay, that's okay with the typo. It looks good. Number two, you can also get contact details about where you stand. All right, so you have the number of followers. Notice here, you get all this information, the following, how many people you're following, the courses you um, have, the classes you have given, and the tutorials or the content that you have added. So you have all the statistics. So if you want to share information about yourself, you can say, well, I have 11,000 followers. I follow 500. Okay, in other words, this is important to your online presence and social networking. 
Okay, plus four is your recommendations. And five is the rest of it. Now, notice what six is. What is six? <laughs> you have done a lot of talking. <laughs> You're right, Nevis. This is just one of many accounts. There are other accounts. You're right. 300 classes. <laughs> That's a lot of talking. Yep. Uh, so what's number six? Links to share. Exactly, Tom. That's your social network links. Okay, so you can share your profile. Okay, your profile on Twitter, on Google+, on LinkedIn, and uh, you can get likes. Okay, and this is your profile. Now, everything on WizIQ has these this feature of sharing okay you can share and you can socially engage and that includes the tests so what is this it's just part of it it's not all of it remember there are here are the statistics okay 22 courses these are your 22 my 22 not all of them are here but their courses exactly and they're really nice because they look like pinterest so you have this board of all your courses that go with your profile. How many of you have looked at your profile as others see it? Profile as others. Okay, you might want to look at that now. Profile as seen by others. You should take a look at it and see if you're happy with it. If you're not happy with it, fix it because that's your face and your online presence is really, really important. That's going to get you. All right, so let's get to creating online tests. The reason I create online tests is to get information because I hate, just like Tom, whatever Tom said, I totally agree. I mean, that goes for me. It doesn't mean that I agree, but that's how I feel. I do not like, I never like to take tests, except when I was very young and I loved memorizing stuff. But later on in high school, I preferred projects. I preferred any kind of creative tasks rather than to take a test that I never got anything out of, as Kirsten said, because you don't really know, you know, the outcomes or anything. All you get is a grade. Okay, and a grade is pretty scary. I mean, imagine getting branded. Okay, that's, you're branded. Okay, with an 80, with a 90, with a 100, whatever. But it's, it's like being branded. Okay, it doesn't really uh, provide you with any information in the old-fashioned way. But online, it's a bit different. We can learn a lot about our face-to-face -face students. Okay, face-to-face. -face, if we give them, okay, if we give them online tests. How many of you have given online tests to your face-to-face -face students? Like these, these are face-to-face, -face, right? Because they're there at the same time in a physical space. So time and space are the same. So you have, great. Okay, because this allows you to get information from your students. And they can also get information from you. Okay, through Cambridge and Oxford online testing sites. Excellent. But I'll get 100 if they do it. Yeah, but you can, you have variations, okay? You can vary your tests. And that's, I think that's what utilizing the online tools to get a lot more than just black and white, you know, number. All right, so these little kids are taking assessment test. Why? Because whatever they do is tracked. And I think Tom mentioned that, that we're always being tested. Okay, they are being tracked. In other words, if you take Moodle, whatever you do on Moodle, you're being tracked and you can get grades or someone knows you can get the report as well, Kirsten. On Moodle, you can get a report of what you did, where you are, how you're doing, and so on. The same report that the teacher gets. Okay, so you can track 
what's happening with your students and get a lot of information. Hello, Naya. Good to see you. It's good to see you back. Oh, I'm sorry that you're having a hard time. Um, but I'm very happy to see you. Uh, Tatiana, you can uh, join um, and take a Moodle course. Um, just email me and I, I'll give you more information. And there we go. And we're also going to give certificates, but we're going to make the certificates even more for the Moodle courses and for TESOL, uh, as Tom um, has suggested. We're going to have uh, certificates with the number of hours that you put in so that you can use these for your schools and for the ministries of education and so on. So we're going to have um, uh, hours and dates, more specific uh, certificates. Okay, they're being, um, yeah, we're working on them now, uh, Nevis and Tom, who, who's interested as well. Okay, so first of all, we have to decide what is a test for us? I mean, what does a test mean for you? For me, it's information. It's simply <clears throat> receiving and giving information. It's sharing information. That's what testing is for me. Yeah, thank you, Tatiana. You can do it afterwards. Uh, continuous. Uh, what's the technical term? I'm afraid of. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll be talking about that. Okay, we'll, we'll be talking about two specific kinds of uh, tests. That's right, summative and formative. That's right. And Judy Wong, good to see you. What does it give the students? That's a good point. It should be sharing. It should be information from the student, from the teacher to the student, and from the, st it should be reciprocal. Okay, so uh, it, you should always ask yourself, why are you doing it? Whatever you do in the classroom, whether it's uh, fully online, blended, or face-to-face, -face, you should always be asking yourself, why am I doing this? Okay, so if it's a test, why am I doing this test? Why this one and not something else? What do I want? Okay, do I want to know what they learned? Well, what did I teach them that they, I want them to know? Okay, and uh, when do I give the test? So think about what you want. It's usually information. I, it takes a lot of insight to design really effect. Exactly. Very good point. Very good point, Asan. At least you, you're being honest because a lot of people just don't even think about it. You know, they don't think enough about why they're giving the test. And I'm included. I'm not saying that I'm out of this picture. Okay. All of us, you know, we... We should do it for every, every time we test. And, and one of the things that uh, I found very annoying in my high school is that I had no choice. I had to give these tests every once in a while when the kids were not even ready for anything. And I, I mean, there was no reason to test except to punish them. Kind of, it was like more of a punishment. You know, let's punish them to make them feel bad. You know, that, that's... Oh, there's a problem with the sound again. Um, if you have problems with the sound, just get rid of my webcam. Just click on the webcam to make it stop. Let me put that click on my webcam to make it stop. To improve sound. Yes, Kirsten, but you know what? Um, it's never too late to start. And yes, life is a process. Learning is a process. Yes, it is a process. You know, we never really get to end it until it ends. So it's, it's all a process. Yeah, the test being a punishment. Oh, there is no sound? No, oh, okay. Torture? Are you talking? <laughs> Water torture. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. 
So um, let me know if uh, you're having sound problems. Anyone having sound problems? Anyone with sound problems? You see, I'm test. This is a test. I'm testing anyone with sound problems. Okay, so this is like a test. I'm trying to find out. Inf I'm trying to elicit information. Oh, it does. It comes and goes. So do me a favor. Could you? Uh, oh, I know why it comes and goes. I know why. I know why. Because I'm on a proxy. Oh, you did? Okay, let me um, see if this 